what's going on youtube welcome back to the channel i've been getting a lot of requests from you guys to make a follow-up video uh, to go step by step regarding the issues that you're having while trying to reboot your mac the most common one being that the dmg or the installer is a corrupted file which it's really not you just have to manually uh, change the date and i'll get into that right now okay so here's a usb flash drive which i used to create the bootable dmg in the previous video and there is the 2012 macbook so in the best case scenario what you would simply do is power on the macbook press and hold the option key of course with your usb drive plugged in and then i see this screen here so this is the screen that uh, is going to indicate so my mac os this is the hard drive and this is the to this is the installer and this is the efi boot so you wouldn't really worry about um, the efi boot but here's the installer so you can choose so let's say that i went to mac installer it will start automatically installing the software from the usb drive here so this is the best case scenario where you have no issues and it works right off the bat i've been getting a lot of messages and emails about people saying that the dmg file is perhaps corrupt so one culprit could be your usb drive but in most cases more than likely what it is is the macbook when it tries to update through the apple servers it doesn't recognize a valid certificate for the dmg file or the installer that you created on your usb in that case we'll have to manually change the date on our macbook so how are we going to do that very simple press the power button and then press and hold command r right after you hear the mac chime the classic old but never gets old chime so that's going to start you're going to see the apple logo here i'm going to let go of that here we are so you'll see the apple logo there it is and you're going to see the status bar and you're just gonna let it, uh, let it do its thing over here as it completes and yeah, damn, that screen is dirty. But also Apple has that issue where the film on the screen just peels off. I have a, 20, um, a 2019 Mac here, an exact same issue where the screen just starts to, starts to peel. Okay, so once internet recovery loads, you wanna make sure that you are not connected to Wi-Fi so I'm disconnected, otherwise the date and time will be set automatically. Um, and I'm going to go to the utilities window, which is right up here, if I can focus, and then down to terminal, and then waiting for that, here we are, here's the terminal window. So I'm just gonna slide that over there. So if I type the word date, and it's gonna tell me the date, which is today's date, right? So. What I usually do is I use um, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 16. So it'll basically be, right here, I'm just gonna zoom in right here. So it'll be 11, so uh, November 22nd, 1, 14, 2016. But you can omit the two zero, even if you put one six as the year, the format for the year, it will still accept it. And then I'm gonna put date here. So right here okay actually i did that wrong so 11 12 13 14 16 so you have to put the word date before what you want to change it to i apologize for the shaky camera i'm holding it with one hand here so now the date is set to saturday november 12 1 14 2016 so this is the command you're going to use to manually change the date if you are getting the error that the dmg file is corrupt it is actually not corrupt you just have to manually change the date back in time to when the OS would have been originally released without Wi-Fi, so without internet, for the Mac to uh, the Mac servers to not connect, and you can manually then use the USB to recover your Mac. So once this step is done, you just go here and you just go shut down, and that's when you would do the first step where you plug the USB in, and then you press and hold the Option key at startup, and you will see. Um, the USB drive it will be detected um, and when it is detected it will be a successful install so again I have the USB plugged in I'm gonna press the power button 
I'm going to press and hold down the option key until I see the hard drive and the bootable USB. And what you would do is select the bootable USB and then just hit next, next, next. And as you would normally um, do a regular Mac install. So this should resolve most of the issues that people have been having um, when they used the download links that I provided in, in the previous video uh, to download the DMG files. However, there are cases where if you have an older MacBook where it does not have an M.2 uh, drive and it has a traditional 2.5 inch mechanical drive or even an SSD drive for that matter, it could be the cable that connects the hard drive to the logic board. I have worked on MacBooks where um, because of the cable design, when it would touch the metal surface on the back, the back panel over time would heat up and then the wire would just fail. So the MacBook would not even detect the hard drive. So of course, if your hard drive is not being detected in this utility, it means that it's a faulty cable. Another issue that uh, some people have said they're experiencing is the installer gets stuck on the Apple logo, so it just seems to take forever or doesn't load after that. In that case, try the following. So number one, hold the command R keys exactly as we did in the previous step, and then go to utilities in the menu, just like we did when we changed the date, the exact same process. And from terminal, enter these two commands in terminal. So here's the first one. And Here's the second one and then exit and restart. So what this will do is this will, this process will try to force your Mac to rebuild the MBR cache, which is required for your uh, Mac to start up. So if that gets corrupted for whatever reason and your Apple logo, it's just the loading screen is, uh, seems like it's hanging or stuck, then try this fix here. Okay, that's it. That's all for this one. Hope you found this useful. Uh, you can use the previous video to download. I have the download links in the description to get the DMG or how to create the bootable DMG rather. And as always, be safe, be well, take care of each other, take care of yourselves, and we'll catch you in the next one. Tech out.